Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and to today's video. And today I'm super excited because I'm going to be playing with the Okafongo Safari Palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Here it is in all its glory. So yes, I am on a no buy, but I did not purchase this because Nomad sent this to me. They sent this to me as PR. Yes, I am now getting PR from Nomad. Super thrilled about that. I'm so excited. Um, it's like a dream come true because this is my favorite, favorite brand. So this is the Okavango Safari palette. Here it is. It's a 15 color palette. It's $42. It is available now on Nomad site. The price has increased a little bit, I believe, because of inflation. Um, these palettes normally were $39, but they are increased in price slightly. So I think that that's why. It might also be because of the marble shades. I could not tell you. But this is 15 colors, you have nine mattes, six shimmers. I will swatch them when I do the tutorial so you guys can see. This is gorgeous. So I'm super thrilled, yes, to be getting PR from Nomad. So that is the Okafango Safari palette based out of Botswana, which is in Southern Africa, and it's the Okafango Delta, which is a beautiful ecosystem where they have just, it's teeming with life. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I've loved all the photos I've seen. I've loved the research I've done. It's gorgeous. I know Nomad will be doing a, um, will be devote, devoting proceeds from this palette to a charitable cause related to the Okavanko Delta. So I will be interested to hear what that is as we go forward, but this is gorgeous. So this palette, like I said, is $42. You can use my code. I do have a code now. It is Dolly, it's D-O-L-L-Y, right here. Use that to save 10%. My code is not affiliated. So I will not receive a commission from the sale of this palette if you use my code, but that's okay. I do not mind to just save yourself some money. It will save yourself basically the taxes or the shipping. So it's always good to use a code. So if you want, use my code, no pressure, but I appreciate it if you do, and I hope that you will enjoy this palette as much as I do. So I'm gonna create the look that I have here, and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Okay, so here we go, the Okavango Delta Palette, or Safari Palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Let's start. Okay, you guys, we are gonna get started creating the look that you saw in the beginning of this video with the beautiful Nomad Cosmetics Okavango Safari Palette. This is their newest palette, as I mentioned in the intro, and it is absolutely stunning. I'm going to show you swatches in a minute, but first let me show you the palette. Here's the palette, okay? So it is a 15 color palette with nine mattes, and six shimmers. Three of these shimmers, this one, this one, and this one are marbled shimmer. So they have kind of a swirled effect or pattern within them. So they're multidimensional or they have colors, but I wouldn't extra color when you swirl them all together, but I would not say that they are duochromes. You have three traditional shimmers, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm going to swatch them for you now. So as I show you the swatches, I'm going to give you some thoughts on um, how I feel about the pigmentation and the formula just based on the swatches. So let's do the swatches and then I will start the look. Here are the swatches. Um, this is the start of the palette. These are the, this is the last row, it's over here. But here are the shimmers and swatching this, it, I had to do about two or three passes to get full opacity. So I did really have to swatch. Um, to get a uh, full pigment, but um, I haven't yet put these on my eyes, but we're gonna see how it goes. But this is the color story, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I really, really love the silver color. So this color right here, and these two are the marble shades, and there, um, there are the three marble shades, and there are the three regular shimmers. And um, the shimmers, I think, based on the texture of them, I think are going to actually perform better with a finger and not with a brush, just based on how they feel. So I have to like check and see how that's gonna go, but for the most part, I really, really love this color story. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to get this on my eyes. So well, I already know what I'm gonna do, so let's start the look. Okay, we're gonna get started. So this is my second time filming this, only because something's wrong with my microphone. So I unplugged it, and I'm loud enough, and I did a test, so hopefully you guys can hear me. But we're gonna get started with the Okavango uh, Safari Palette from Nomad. I am so thrilled to be getting palettes from Nomad now. I you know, reached out to them numerous times, only to show them my looks, to just tell them how much I love their brand. 
and she asked me if I perhaps wanted to receive PR and I said of course and here we are with my favorite brand receiving PR it's just crazy so this is beautiful I'm going to do the same look that I did this morning and I'm going to start with rumbling elephants which is the gray now um, I explained in the um, swatch video that the shimmers to the touch are pretty um, firm and I can confirm that because of my look this morning I do feel that they're pretty firm and they are they do require building but we're gonna just do the same look that we did before I'm gonna use this mirror only because my nomad mirror is broken um, it came broken and I don't care it's not a big deal so uh, no worries there so rumbling elephants is the gray shade I'm gonna take it on that flat brush the same brush I used this morning and I'm gonna pack that in my outer corners um, I did also say this morning when I first used this palette that I thought this was going to be darker upon application, but it's definitely beautiful. It's uh, it's deep enough for me, but I I am a girl that loves some really dark shades, as you guys well know. So we're just gonna um, I'm gonna just do this first eye on camera, and then I'm gonna repeat the process on the other eye before we do our shimmers. So I just basically put that in the outer corner, just slightly into the crease about two thirds of the way, or about a third of the way in. Just kind of stamping that color on, because that's how I like to do my eyeshadow. I usually start with the darkest color first. The next color that I'm going to take is uh, Vumbora Plains, which is the shade right above it, which is like green shade. That's the shade that I did this morning. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take that on a fluffier brush, but pointed and tapered. And I'm just going to run that over the edge of the gray just to soften it, soften the edge. And I'm going to take that shade about two thirds of the way in or right around the edge of my, my pupil, not pupil, but iris, whatever, my eye, my eyeball. And I'm just softening that edge. So you have that gray, just soften that gray up just a little bit with that green. I think that looks really, really pretty. And you can also add a small detail brush um, to maybe get a little bit more gray in there. And just blend those edges a little bit more. So the next shade that I'm going to take is this shade called Morami Game Reserve, which is kind of a mustard shade. I'm going to take that on this small elf pencil brush. I love this little brush for inner corner colors, especially inner corner mattes. So that's a kind of a mustard shade. So I'm taking that one right there, the Morami Game Reserve, this one. And I'm just going to load that brush up. And we're going to place that right here. And connect it to the green and and I'm just gonna just gonna lightly graze between those two shades it's a kind of blend this isn't really a blending brush it's more of a placement brush crease brush to get really like intense color which you do have to blend out so I like to do this where I put this color in the corner so I have this mustard fading into the green and I'm just going to take that first brush that I used for the green and I'm just going to kind of blend between the two. I don't need to over blend this front shade, but I am going to take a clean brush, just a little wet and wild brush, and I'm going to just blend like this in the inner corner. Okay, so then I'm going to repeat on this eye over here and I'm gonna put some glitter primer on my lids and then we will start with the shimmer. So this is what we're working with so far with the mattes. And I, the performance is the same as it was this morning, beautiful mattes. I love the mattes and then in the Nomad palettes. I love the colors in general and I love the shimmers as well, but the shimmers are a little bit more firmly pressed and you'll see what I'm talking about when we do the shimmer. So hang tight and let me just do the other eye and some glitter primer and we will proceed. 
Okay, you guys, so here's both eyes. I do have some glitter primer on my lids. I will say that I am, the next time I use this palette, going to try to do the shimmers without a prompt glitter primer to see if that makes any difference with how it applies onto my eyes because I did notice the first time that I used this palette, I really had to press, 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 reapply, 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 which happened with me and the Verona um, um, palette as well with the shimmers. So the shimmers are very similar in here. They are very firmly pressed, which means that they don't pick up well on a brush, but that's okay. They still are very, very beautiful and you need to take your time and you need to build them up a little bit. So hopefully that's not an issue for you. It's really not for me because I will always try to make a palette work and I will definitely do it for Nomad. So we're going to be using Migrating Zebras, which is this beautiful gray shade down here. It, it turns into kind of a nice, pretty gunmetal shade. I have a flat synthetic brush and I'm just gonna load that up. And you really do have to load it up. So really get in there and load it up because you uh, will find that you are going to, it's not the creamiest formula, but you're gonna have to, um, to get the pigment on, you're gonna really have to do that. Now, granted, you can do this with a brush as well, or with your finger as well. I myself do not like to apply my shimmers with my finger, so that is my personal preference. So this palette might not lend well to somebody who doesn't like to do that, but at the same time, at the end of the day, you still will get a beautiful result if you just give it a little extra effort. So this is that beautiful Migrating Zebra shade. I am putting that all over the inner portion of my lid. I'm not adding another shimmer today. This is the only shimmer that I'm going to use. So yeah. It's pretty, but it does require building. This is the third time I've done, I've gone into the shade. So, uh, yeah. But that's what we're working with. Absolutely stunning. It is really, really beautiful. Not ultra metallic. Very, very sheeny. Very pretty. Very pretty color. And so that's what that looks with the shimmer. So you do have to build them up. They are... Um, I should use my finger for the other eye, and maybe I will. Let's try that and see how well that works. But the, the texture, the texture is such that you really do need to give your finger a good swirl in there. Now I am going to spray my finger. I don't know that I necessarily need to do that, but I do that sometimes when I do. Okay, much better with the finger, as you can see. See, much better with the finger. So really, these are gonna apply better with your finger. Keep that in mind. If that is something that you don't like to do, then I don't know what to tell you, but it they do apply better with the finger. Very much so, very much so. Um, which is not my preference, but that's okay. So that is that. So let's go ahead and add the lower lash line color, and then I'm gonna add a uh, green pencil from water uh, from ColourPop in my waterline and then we'll finish the look with some liner and some mascara and a lip but we're just going to do the lower lash line shade now so this is chef's island it's this beautiful green is what i'm using for my um lower lash line shade and so you just i'm taking this just on a little stubby brush Focusing that mostly on the outer two thirds of my lower lash line, not going too far into the inner corner. I am not a person that does a, I'm not really big into the inner corner highlight shades. Some people really, really like that. That doesn't really suit me, so I don't really do it. So I don't really need an inner corner highlight. So, but I like this pop of green on the lower lash line. And just taking this brush and just really smudging that out. So like I said, I am going to add this in my waterline with some black liner and mascara and a lip, and then you guys will see the final look. Okay, so you saw my look in the beginning, now you see it at the end, but you saw right in the middle how I created it. Beautiful palette, love it, it's gorgeous. So let's look at the color story again and let's talk about it. So I do have some thoughts. Um, I love the color story. Love, love, love the color story. I did think that the gray was going to be a little bit deeper than it actually is on my eyes when I applied it, but it, it's still a beautiful shade and it doesn't give me enough depth. I also have this beautiful brown. I am going to be doing some more looks with this palette. Stay tuned. I'm probably going to be doing looks all next week with this palette so you'll get a look every day from me, but this is gorgeous. I do feel that the shimmers 
at least the one that I used applied better with my finger. I used to, I applied with my finger on my left eye. And with a brush on my right, it does not pick up well on a brush. You really do need to use your finger um, or you're going to have to build it quite a bit. Um, very, very firmly pressed in the pan. Very, very tightly packed. So there's not, there's no fallout at all, which is great. But you will really, really have to give your brush a good go if you want to use a brush. I used my finger for this eye and I sprayed my finger and it just applied really, really easily. I, it, much better with a finger than with a brush. So I just think this color story is epic. I think it's so pretty. I love the combinations of the warm caramely tones with the with the greens and the mustards and the and, and then you even have that gray silver um, um, addition to it. Really can do quite a bit with this palette. So I'm gonna be interested to play with it more, but I think this is a winner. I think that it's great. Um, barring the you know the shimmers are not my favorite formula from nomad they've done shimmers in the past that pick up better on a brush i prefer those so you know i i would ap appreciate that formula more now i haven't tried the other shimmers in here just tried this one but when i swatched them they all felt the same when i swatched them they all felt the same so they did really feel that they that they were that firmly pressed um, shadow and I did notice that I really did have to build the pigment up in my swatches too so that that meant extra extra um, extra fingers in the palette but it's gorgeous you guys I love it so um, I you know if you want to go get this by all means just you know keep in mind um, the, the matte quality is the same as it ever was pigmented blunt easy to blend shimmers are are, are really good with a finger not so good with a brush it's okay. I can make it work for me and I will continue to make it work for me because I love this brand. And sometimes when you, you know, feel that way, you will, you will find a way to make it work and just take a little extra time. Totally worth it. Nomad Okavango Savari palette. So thankful to Nomad for sending these to me. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today and that you will stay tuned for um, some more looks with this. I will be doing more looks with this next week. It's going to be a challenge for me, um, but I will do a look for you guys probably for five looks, five days for five looks. That's going to be my goal. And um, yeah, that's all she wrote. Okavango Safari Palette from Nomad Cosmetics. It will be linked down below as will my code will be in the description box. Go ahead and use it and save yourself some money. Thanks so much for watching you guys today. I appreciate you. I love you. Finger hearts. I purple you. Give yourself a hug and happy summer. Hope you guys are off to a great summer. The kids are out and um, time is, uh, it's getting up. It's getting warm. It's getting warm out there in these streets. So take care you guys and I will see you in my next video. Okay. Bye.